I just discovered a way to use ChatGPT4 plus this tool to scrape millions of emails from every social media website in minutes. The best part is you don't need to pay thousands of dollars a month for fancy contact databases and you don't need any experience in web scraping. It's actually so easy, my grandma could figure this out. I'm gonna share my screen and walk you through exactly how I use these tools to generate thousands of leads for my business every single month without breaking the bank. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is copy this ChatGPT prompt. I'm gonna put it in the video description so you can just copy and paste it from there. The purpose of this prompt is so that you can tell it a little bit about your target avatar, the customer that you're trying to prospect. The prompt will scrape the web and it will look for keywords and hashtags that are related to your customer avatar. So copy and paste that into ChatGPT. It will spend some time searching the web and then it will produce several hashtags and keywords that are related to your target demographic. Now that you have some ideas for hashtags and keywords to use, let's see if they actually produced good results. I'm gonna grab the hashtag medtech, and in this example, I'm targeting medical technology companies, founders, and someone who has an innovative medical device or service and they want exposure for their company. So medtech and health tech is actually really good keywords. But just to make sure, I'm gonna open up Instagram.com and put these hashtags in to see what kind of results I get. All right, perfect, I searched MedTech and it looks like I'm getting really good lists of users, of posts, they're all very relevant. So this is an awesome hashtag for me. If this doesn't give you good keywords and good hashtags, you can just tell ChatGPT to try again and give it additional feedback. All right, now let's jump into the scraping tool and show you exactly how this works. The tool that we use is IGleads.io. Now they did something unbelievable. They give you the ability to scrape every different social media platform, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, everything plus more. But they made it so easy to use. There's no Chrome extensions. You don't need to download any software. Literally, all you have to do to scrape these websites is input a keyword, a target country, and let it start scraping. And the best part about this is unlike most B2B databases or scraping tools that charge you per scrape, this allows you to buy an unlimited plan so you can literally scrape millions of leads every single month for guess how much. We are on the business plan. That's unlimited emails per month for $149 every single month. This means unlimited verified emails from all of these different platforms for $149 per month. You'll never run out of leads again. Look at all these places that you're able to scrape from. The emails are 100% verified. There's no bounced emails and it does high speed scraping. And this is awesome for real estate agents or people who tell B2C as well. I get that all the time. Where can I find B2C leads? This is where. All right, so now that we're inside of the tool, here's how it actually works. By the way, if you wanna sign up for this tool, I do have an affiliate link for it like I have for every other software that I use, but it means a lot to support the channel to use it. It's down in the description of this video. Now let me show you how to actually use it. This is what the back end looks like. On the left-hand side, you'll see scraping results where you can monitor all of your progress. Here's three recent scrapes that I did and there's all of the different social media platforms that you can scrape. Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, Google, Google Maps. You can scrape by job titles, scrape multi-channel, we'll scrape all of the social media platforms. If you're doing real estate, you can scrape homeowners, market deals, and this B2B contact scraper has millions and millions of data points to choose from. To start scraping, all you have to do is pick the social media platform that you want to scrape from. And this is gonna vary for you based on what your offer is. So if you help coaches and consultants, I would go to Instagram or LinkedIn. A lot of them have that in their bio and it'll be really easy to use a keyword for that. If you're a video editor, you might wanna scrape YouTube accounts so that you can help people edit videos. If you work locally in your city, you might wanna use the Google Maps scraper. This is where you're gonna to have to get creative or work with an expert to figure out where the best place to scrape leads from is. But the good news is you have all of these options right before you and it's totally unlimited. Now, if you know anything about how scraping tools work, it will actually go through the search term on LinkedIn and it will open up each profile and if that profile has a public email, then it will extract that email, it will scrape that email. LinkedIn does have more emails than most other platforms, so it's gonna give you the most results. Uh, Instagram has a good amount as well, but if you're scraping like YouTube, it's gonna be a little slower and not put out as many results. All right, so in this example, we're looking for medical technology companies. So I'm gonna come back to my ChatGPT, and one of the keywords that it gave me was medical device. I think that's probably a good keyword to use for this example. So we're gonna put medical device as my keyword, and for the sake of this example, I'm gonna do 101 emails to scrape. You can put multiple thousands in this to get a massive file once that's done. For the target country, I'm gonna pick the United States. 
uh, I leave this as B to C and you can go ahead and search. Now, one of the limitations to this scraping tool is that you can only search by keyword. It doesn't let you hyper filter your searches. So on one hand, it makes it very easy to use, very simple, very streamlined. But on the other hand, you're gonna get a big file of emails and they might not all be the right ones. So keep that in mind as you're going through your searches. Now, once your search starts, you'll see it in the scraping results section. Now, typically, this only takes a couple minutes, and if you're on their higher level plan, you're basically moved to the front of the line so that your, your searches get done much faster. Let me show you a recent one that I did. So I scraped LinkedIn for business podcast as my search term, and it found 517 emails out of the 1,000 that I told it to scrape. I also used business podcast as an Instagram keyword, and it got 842 emails. Uh, so let's open up this file and see what it looks like. So here's a list of the Instagram data that it outputted. We've got the username, we've got the email associated with that. And the great thing about this is are, these are personal emails in most cases, which means they're probably not going to expire, it means they're probably valid, and they're very likely to answer these emails. Now let's go ahead and download this file by clicking on that download button. Let's open that up and see what the downloaded file looks like so we can figure out how we're going to use it. So one thing I want to point out within this file is that it actually validates the emails. Is it safe to send? True. Overall email score, 98. We know that these emails are good to send to, and that is very important so that you don't end up in spam and you maintain good sender reputation with your cold email campaigns. Now with that being said, I still recommend cleaning these emails one more time before you use them. And to clean them, I use Million Verifier. So what I'll do is I'll put this file inside of Million Verifier and it will clean it. So before I clean it, let's delete all of the columns that we're not using and let's save it. And now let's open up Million Verifier. There's a lot of different email cleaning tools out there. I like Million Verifier because it's very fast and it's very affordable. We're gonna go to one-time cleaning. All right, so I've uploaded my email file. I found 841 emails. We're gonna remove duplicates and start. So this verifies relatively quickly. It'll get 99% done within minutes. So let's just give it a few minutes to verify and then we'll come back and check those results. All right, and just like that, in less than a couple minutes, the validation is done. So what I see here is 462 good emails, 379 risky emails, and zero bad emails, which means all of these are verified. I would actually send to every single one of these. A lot of them are gonna be unknown. If, if you ping them, it doesn't ping back, so you can't validate them, but they're probably still okay. I also wanna point out down here, they put an AI keyword and hashtag generator. This is essentially chat GPT within this tool. But to be honest, I tried to interact with it. In fact, I looked for searching for podcast hosts that host business success and marketing related podcasts. It didn't give me keywords and hashtags. It gave me a list of podcasts. And then I asked for keywords to find those profiles on Instagram, and it gave me a list of very unrelated hashtags. So use ChatGPT and use my prompt. Do not use this. Or use my prompt within this and see what happens. So here's some tips and tricks. Here's what I found while using this tool. The keyword that you use is very important. So actually putting that keyword in, say you're scraping YouTube, go into YouTube and put that keyword in. It's going to scrape for videos, not accounts. And for YouTube, it doesn't put out a lot of emails as results. So you need to scrape way more. I would say like 5,000 at a time for YouTube in order to get 1,000 emails. Target country uh, does work quite well. I keep it in the United States. And for YouTube, put B to C. That's how you're gonna get people's emails. B to B doesn't work at all. So always keep it B to C. You can also initiate multiple searches at once that can run. So if you have multiple keywords that you need to search for, you can't put them into one search. You need to break them up into different searches. So for example, if I wanted to scrape lead generation related videos, I would type in lead gen as one keyword. So look for 5,000 emails, United States, B to C, and go ahead and start search. And now these searches are actually happening at the same exact time. Now when these searches are done, they also send you a nice email confirming that that search is done and here's what that looks like. The email will look like this. It will tell you how many search results that it got and it will link back to your dashboard. That way you don't have to sit there and stare at the screen and wait for the scraping to be done. Very convenient. Now one thing that I wish they did within this was in this B2B contact scraper, there's not a lot of options for you to add filters. Now my main B2B database is Apollo.io and within that platform, I have like 50 options for filters that I can click to get the exact person that I want. 
Within this, we only have a couple options, country, keyword, city, state. So this isn't as robust as it could be as a B2B database, but it does work quite well and you'll get a lot of data. And as you can see here, I have two active searches running, so I can't submit another one. You can do two at a time or you can purchase more storage to scrape more than two at a time. Another unique way to use this scraping tool is job titles. So there's not a lot of good ways to filter by job title within this platform. So if you do want to filter by job title, and it's important that you're only reaching out to podcast hosts or founders, you can use this scrape job titles section. And for example, if I was looking for podcast host, I would put that as the keyword and scrape say 1000 podcast hosts. They do have a free trial, so you can get in here and play with it and scrape 50 emails before you actually pay for anything, which is really convenient. I did this, I recommend that you do it too, and you can sign up for that, the link in my description. But once you do decide to upgrade, I definitely recommend doing this 150 per month for a couple of reasons. One, it's unlimited. No other B2B database or email database or email scraping tool that I've seen before gives you unlimited scrapes and unlimited emails. So if you're trying to scale your cold email campaign, this is the way to go. Lastly, it's really important to note that this verifies the emails for you. As you saw in the results, as you saw in the spreadsheet, you're only getting emails that are pretty much ready to go, ready to email. The other really important thing here is high speed scraping. So this actually scrapes very fast. I was on this plan when I first started testing it and the scrape speed was about four hours compared to less than one. Lastly, if you're in real estate and you're looking for homeowners or off market deals, this is an absolute no brainer. Now, another option that you have, assuming that you've started this for a month, you're using it, you're getting lots of value out of it, you can do an entire year for only $650 for unlimited everything, and you get five storage spaces, which I believe means you can scrape five consecutive sessions at one time. All right, my friends, that is all. Go check out this tool. It is a must have for your lead generation efforts. But remember, it's not just about your tools and it's not just about the data. You need to be able to send good emails. And to do that, you need to get a lot of things right. Watch my video about email deliverability, setting up DNS records correctly. Watch my video about setting up instantly and using instantly correctly. This is the tool to actually send those emails out to this list. Watch my video about purchasing and setting up email accounts using GoDaddy and Office 365. And make sure that you're enrolled in my free course. It's linked below and I actually include 8 million leads that you can download. All you have to do is click that link, opt in, and you can access the free course and the leads. And if you want to sign up for this tool and support the channel at the same time, use my affiliate link and you'll get a free trial where you can download 50 free leads. This is Lead Gen J and I'll see you soon.